welcome to our weekly garden check-in. My name is Kelsey, children's educator here at Lewis Ginter Botanical Garden. And this week for our check-in, I would like to talk about a garden pest that I've been getting a lot of questions about recently called the cabbage white. Cabbage whites are among the first butterflies to emerge in the early spring and begin foraging in the garden. Cabbage whites get their name because they are attracted to cabbage plants and plants in the mustard family, such as broccoli, kale, bok choy, mustard, and Brussels sprouts. All of those plants, cabbage whites um, are attracted to and are the host plant for the larva, so the cabbage white caterpillars. And you might notice little holes starting to appear in your kale and broccoli and wonder what is eating my plant. And likely the damage is done by the cabbage white caterpillar who um, you know, are voracious eaters and eat more as they get bigger and can do a lot of damage to cabbage plants and kale and your other uh, garden plants in the brassica family. So what do we do if we start to see damage um, on the leaves from cabbage white larva? So the first thing we can do is start to look on the leaves for yellow eggs that were laid by the female cabbage white butterfly and larva, which are little tiny green caterpillars. Sometimes they can be pretty tricky to see. I like to look on the veins of the leaf. A lot of times they sort of hug those veins and sort of camouflage that way. They're kind of tricky to see. But if you can physically remove the eggs and the larva off of your plants, depending on how many you have, um, then you can prevent further damage by those eggs and larva. Next thing you could do to prevent cabbage whites is planting your brassica plants in between thyme plants. Apparently the cabbage whites do not like the smell of thyme so interplanting could also help. Another thing that you can try is using diatomaceous earth. Apparently the caterpillars cannot survive um, when you sprinkle diatomaceous earth around your plants. Another thing that you can do is using row covers or butterfly mesh to keep your butterflies from being able to get to the plants and lay their eggs in the first place. And another thing that I've tried um, is using decoys. I put pictures of cabbage white butterflies on sticks that kind of flit around the same way that the butterflies do um, all around my mustard plants and I can see that that sometimes deters the adult butterflies from visiting those plants because they think that that area is already occupied. But the thing that I've learned that works the best is to plant the cabbage plants and brassica family plants in the winter time when those butterflies are dormant. And another thing that I've heard of people doing is planting a sacrificial plant um, at the edge of their garden or a small crop of sacrificial plants that uh, they allow the cabbage whites to go to town on and uh, hopefully will deter them or keep them occupied and away from their crop that they are looking to harvest. So lots of things to do for these challenging pests. I hope you guys enjoyed this check-in and that it will help you make decisions on how to keep your brassica plants healthy this spring and summer. Thank you so much for checking in. Have a great week.